Pastor Fred Phelps is the leader of the infamous Westboro Baptist Church. Considered by many a hate group because of their anti-gay rhetoric and picketing the funerals of, of fallen U.S. soldiers, the children lost in the Sandy Hook school shootings, and cheering on natural disasters, saying that these are the acts of an angry God who hates, well, you know what they say. As supposed followers of Christ, you'd think they would have read the whole Bible. Specifically, the whole Matthew 7, 1, judge not lest ye be judged thing. Why is this guy so down on people of the same sex doing their thing? Well, if we believe Lauren Drain, a former member and author of a book titled Banished, Surviving My Years in the Westboro Baptist Church, it could be because old Fred is hiding some homosexual experiences in his own past. To steal a line from Shakespeare, Lauren Drain don't thinks he protests too much. <laughs> I tend to agree. In an interview with The Advocate, the author suggested that at the age of 17 there was a gay experience that led Phelps to become a preacher and fight what he believed to be sexual immorality. You see, at that time he was a Boy Scout and on his way to being in the military, but something in 1946 happened and changed his mind. These types of religious leaders and politicians that have railed against homosexuality have never been revealed as homosexuals themselves. Never, 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 never. Why has old Fred turned into a wrinkly gray sack of homophobic hate? Is it because of some gay sexual experiences in his youth? Well, we'll never know. Because to this day, he refuses to discuss the topic whatsoever. But the hard truth is, as much as we respect the First Amendment, there is no room in society, in the home, or in the heart for hate. I got some advice for you, Fred. It's the same advice my dad gave my brothers and I growing up. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all.